Good morning, bookmobile friends. Or maybe it's good afternoon for you. It's my morning, but you can watch this video whenever you want. Today, I have some summary stories for you. Things we wouldn't do so much in the winter. But of course, we got to start with our bell and our toes. <laughs> toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Now tuck them in like that if it's comfortable for your body. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Now place them in your lap. Eyes are looking, look up there. Eyes are looking, look down there. Eyes are looking, look up here. Look up here, my darlings. Ears are listening. Shh, shh, shh. Ears are listening. Shh, shh, shh. Ears are listening. Shh, shh, shh. Story time's beginning. Chicken Soup with Rice by Maurice Sendak from the Book of Months. The last time we were together, we read July, but that was then. This is now. It is August. Whew. Our friend has turned into a cooking pot. Guess what is inside? Soup. Chicken soup. Check it out. August. In August... It will be so hot. I will become a cooking pot. Cooking soup, of course. Why not? Cooking once. Cooking twice. Cooking chicken soup with rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in that chicken soup with rice, I wonder what ingredients there might be. Probably some chicken, probably some rice, probably some bone broth, yum. Some vegetables, carrots, celery maybe. It's true. Oh, but you know what? When it's so, so hot, I like to go swimming. And I have some swimming books. This child, however, is having a hard time getting into his swimming pool in the backyard. As you can see, there's a whale in the swimming pool. It's a problem. The Whale in My Swimming Pool by Joyce Wan. Here we can see the whale from many different angles here on the end pages. The Whale in My Swimming Pool. Sleepy cat. Run, 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 run. Race you to the pool! Whoa! A whale? Huh. Mom! Mom, there's a whale in my swimming pool! Oh, that's great, honey. Don't forget about the sunscreen. Sunscreen? On a whale? Do whales need sunscreen? Silly mom's not paying much attention. Okay, all right, I'm gonna close my eyes and count to 10. And when I'm done, you'd better be gone. You ready? Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. Maybe you just need a little help. <gasps> Is pushing the whale going to work? Not so much. Come on, man. Why my pool? Why not the pool next door? They have the best pool on the block. But do you guys see what's in the pool next door? Why doesn't the whale want to go swimming there? 
You're right. There's a shark. I would not want to swim there either. I know. How about a game? Here's a stick. Fetch, fetch. Do whales play fetch? No. What kind of animal likes to play fetch? Dogs. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Whales aren't fish. Come on, wouldn't you rather swim with other whales? I'll give you my allowance. What if we take turns? Tag, you're it! Run, 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 run. Did the crane work? No. Too heavy. The strap broke. Oh, this is hopeless. How will I ever get this whale out of my pool? I'll never get to go swimming again. Oh. Is a tantrum going to help? I give up. Trip, 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 trip. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Wait here. I'll be right back. Run, 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 run. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, maybe this is not so bad after all. Chilling on a whale spout. Chilling on a whale spout. Nap time! Coming, Mom! Whoop. <laughs> oh, great! He snores! This kid is having some bad luck with the animals in his house. And here on this last end page is the bear sleeping in his bed. The end. I think maybe tomorrow this friend might want to take a little bike ride down to the town pool because his kiddie pool in the backyard is not working for him. My next friend does just that. He's at the town pool. His name is Jabari, and Jabari needs to flex some brave muscles because Jabari jumps by Guy at Cornwall. Let's see. Oh, look at that blue swimming pool water. Jabari jumps. Here's Jabari getting ready for the pool. Got to take off his t-shirt, pull up his swim trunks, take off his socks, and get his goggles just so, so he's ready. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb up the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, 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 and then they dove down, 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 splash. Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. Here he is at the front of the line. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Here's some more kids going off. Jabari thought and thought. 
Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Hmm, maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. So Jabari did some side stretches. He did some forward bends. Oh, he stretched his hamstrings and his arms out. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. So Jabari took a deep breath and felt it feel, fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb. Up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Hooey! Jabari looked out as far as he could see. Oh, he felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. Are you ready? He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees and then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went and then back up. Whoosh. So exhilarating. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What? said his dad. Oops. Surprise double backflip is next. Boy, he's feeling brave. The end. Swimming swimming in my swimming pool when days are hot and days are cool in my swimming pool side stroke breast stroke fancy diving too wouldn't it be nice if there was nothing else to do oh, that would be nice let's sing it one more time you try to do as many of the words as you can ready Swimming, swimming in my swimming pool when days are hot and days are cool in my swimming pool. Side stroke, breast stroke, fancy diving too. Wouldn't it be nice if there was nothing else to do? <laughs> well, there is another really fun summer activity. That's what this book is about. It's called, well, it once was a book. It still is a book, and I turned it into a cranky. It's called It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a bunny rabbit. That's right, but it wasn't a bunny rabbit. Sometimes it looked like Maybe a fish, a bird, 
but it wasn't a fish or a bird. Sometimes it looked like <gasps> mm, ice cream. Or some kids think it looks like an elephant or maybe even a tooth that came out. But it wasn't an ice cream or an elephant or a tooth. Sometimes it looked like a tree or a chicken foot. But it wasn't a tree or a chicken foot. Sometimes it looked like a flower or a cactus or a fork or Groot. But it wasn't any of those things. Sometimes it looked like a pig. But it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake or a submarine. But it was not a birthday cake or a submarine. Sometimes it looked like bah, a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like, uh oh, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, an owl, but it was not an owl. Sometimes it looked like a mitten or a chair or a glove, but it was not a mitten or a chair or a glove. Sometimes it looked like oh, an airplane, a superhero, a bird, an angel, but it was not any of those things. It was just a cloud in the sky. The end. And now for those of you who really like to watch the back, we'll turn it around and watch the cranks work. Ready? Here's that dowel at the back with my paper taped on. And when I turn the crank, which is why this is called the cranky, the paper rolls up on this side and unrolls over there. See? Ooh, I can go fast. Oh, it's a little tight for some reason. Oh, can't go fast right now. There it goes. Whoosh. Oh, the fun mechanics of a cranky box. Whoosh, there goes the flower. There goes the tree. There goes the elephant ice cream cone. And the bird. And the bunny. And the spilt milk. And back to the title page. The end. Friends. It has been a wonderfully hot August day with you. I will see you again in a little while. I hope you get a chance to go swimming without a whale. Or with a whale. I mean, if you get to go swimming with a whale, do it, okay? <laughs>